Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install or upgrade to an EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition. You would just come inside the case, unscrew these two screws, and take out these two I.O. covers. But in this case, it's a little bit different. You have to unscrew these guys, and let me zoom out. You have to unscrew here, and unscrew here to be able to take this housing out so that you actually have access to the screws which are on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and just open that up. And I'm going to put my finger here just so that it won't fall out. So that the, the cover doesn't fall out, not my finger. <laughs> All right, so I'll take that out of here. And since we know that the video card is going to cover the second and the third slot, we're going to take out the second and third slot. We're going to leave the top one because that's for a PCIe by four connection or card. So then we come over here. It's okay if it fell. And then we take off the third one. Okay, now we just take these out. Keep them for safekeeping for later. And then here we have the EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition. So I'm going to show you real quick how to install that. So then we just grab the card and align it right over here with right down here. And then also, of course, to the PCIe slot, right back there, and just push it in. All right, you don't have to push incredibly hard. Put, push lightly, and it will go in. Now, if you want to take this card out, you there's a little uh, lock right over here. You push that down, and you gently pull the card out. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so you get a better idea of how it's done. So here you have your PCIe slot. Now we'll just grab the video card. Again, we're going to align right over here. And then of course we align the PCIe slot. And then, now you're going to notice that little lock I showed you pop up. So look carefully. Okay, so that locks, that does a little to lock in the card in place. So now all we need to do is screw the card in right over here, right here. And I'll zoom out so you can see it. As I mentioned, you're going to screw it in on the outside. You might have to lift the card for that. So now that's the only... Uh, PCIe device we have so we could just put this back in place the little cover and then the bottom one all right and that's it so you've just installed the EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition card. Now, of course, we have to do the cabling. Now she's starting to look real sexy with the liquid cooling. All right, guys, here she is. All cabled, not perfect, but not bad either. This is Iggy with Dragon Blogger showing you how to build a PC with the EVGA the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition video card. Iggy with Dragon Blogger up. See you guys.